Welcome back to Cloudpunk. We're supposed to ascend to the spire. But before that, we're also supposed to get something to eat. Welcome. Crispy meat soup. Not bad. Thank you. Don't let all the... So we're supposed to head over to Avalon Heights. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, Chemis. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone, too, if you don't like to go outside, because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. Do we go up on one of those big... I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Wow! <laughs> I love Camus. Uh, before we go to the vinculum ascender, Let's descend here. Get some more punch cards. Large sushi plate. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Have a nice. I'm assuming that the more expensive food gives you a speed boost for longer. I don't know if that's actually the case, but it seems sensible. From the Thanks. You it's always good to have pheromones. Yeah, I thought I didn't have any. I didn't. Punch card. Just eight more. You experiencing heartache, depression, apathy, vaguely defined in me. I 
of my new ship. What you? I feel like the cybernetic arm gets more expensive every time I find it again at a different cellar. Thanks. <laughs> Probably not the case. driver. Hey, engineer. Did you see any blinking street signs? Thankfully, no. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Not sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? It is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. Something visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. And last week I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The whole neighborhood. It's under the ocean now. That's not your fault. Well, it sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh yeah, I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums? No savings, then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. Even an engineer can't get savings? What you- Thanks. Hey, come back any- Before I ascend, let's grab these items over here. Oh, this takes me to the other side. Chemist, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired corp billionaire, Control? <laughs> Hardly. I'm really curious what it's going to look like up here. But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. It feels like my whole life and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. I've only been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, eh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's, uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. 
I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Whether Cora is an automata or an android or even a person, if they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Korra? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. It feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Above the clouds. Wow. A normal sky. No rain. That was a really cool sequence. Just slowly traveling ever upwards while talking with Control. You see that bird? I believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. I didn't even see the falcon. Apparently we did. There's an item all the way over there, but I don't think I care that much. I have your delivery, consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me, code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? Pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery probably costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? God. Oh, pink tracer. Hell yeah, I want that. Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a funny way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. 
Heck yeah, let's pull a prank. Oh, I want to know what you changed. Not much, just a few words. I want to know the nature of the prank. Which words? I replaced organ with pineapple. Oh, this is amusing. I, I am amused. Do you really think they will get deliveries of pineapples? Oh yes, vendors know how much they can get selling to the spire. They will get pineapples, but they did not want pineapples. This is a very high quality prank. It's petty and childish, but thanks, Chemis. Let's just hope we don't get caught and fired for it. Hey kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. Uh, there's not much pay in it though. I could do weird, as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of Novellas. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novala city limits. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloudpunk HQ, then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. It'll be interesting to see more of the city's infrastructure. We've already spoken with Douglas the Postman. Why can we talk with him again? Maybe you can try this dating agency, Douglas. Please, I am not so desperate. I am currently rated highly desirable in my range. Are there many other available androids in your range? May I have the flyer, please? Perhaps I will try the dating agency. Good luck, Douglas. Thank you, Rania. I can afford you a reward. You can have my optimal dating ritual instigation line or some credits. Hmm, the line is tempting. I think I'll take the limbs. I didn't even know I had that flyer. Let's go tell the falconer. take this opportunity to get some pink tracers. Cool. Uh, do we have to install it or is it already installed? I think it's already installed. 
Oh yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. So you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. Well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson. Good misdirection, Rania. Then off to Caledon to pick up the package. Never get that right. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. I just realized something. I think the back of our vehicle looks like a face, doesn't it? <laughs> Can't believe it took me so long to notice that. That is so cool. Anywhere to stop along the way? I think we've pretty thoroughly explored Midtown. Yeah, we've gotten almost everything. 
Just a couple items that I don't care to get because they can't be punch cards, so who cares? Explored is the marrow. Not very. Still two unexplored locations. Let's check out the cauldron. Excuse me. I am not usually permitted to speak, but I need help. I'm really busy. It will only take a moment. Really busy. I have no one else to ask. No one else but the million people walking past as we speak? I need to stop talking to randos on the street. You do me more kindness by acknowledging me than anyone else has shown. Damn it. What do you want? A ride. I knew it. No way. I will pay you. I'm not a taxi. I know. Cloudpunk, right? I recognize your car. You're a delivery driver. So deliver me. I deliver packages, not people. You're not a package. Actually, I am. Uh-huh. Listen, this has been lovely, but I have to... I am not lying. Look at my ID card. Here it is. Okay, it lists your owner. Weird. That doesn't make you a package, though. It makes me property. Ask your automata. Camus, can you check this ID? 1, 14, 4, 25, 4, 15, 12, 12. Property belonging to an android called Sari Nam. Citizenship voluntarily revoked last month. If found, return to owner. I told you. Will you take me back to Sari? I'll pay you. You can't even get in trouble. It's not far. I guess. Get in, then. So, um, your property? Yes. And you want to go back to your owner? Don't slaves want to escape? I'm not a slave. Being the property of a rich android is my career. Just like driving deliveries is yours. Okay, I get it. I do not get it. Yeah, actually, I don't get it either. Do you need help to run away? No. I love my work. How is being owned by someone else work? Supply and demand. It's economics. What do you supply? Sex. Oh, no. How does that... Why... No, don't tell me. I am curious. Tell me. Damn it, I'm curious too. I am only qualified to provide my services to smooth skins, but I offer a range of services. Smooth skins? It means androids with humanoid dermis. Rubber, synthetic flesh, or plastic. You know, the androids that look a lot like humans, not the boxy ones. Right. And you? Many androids look back on the long period when they were used as sex dolls by humans as a shameful period. It was shameful. Yes. But some of the androids now have an interest in reversing the roles. They want to have sex with humans who behave and respond. Or rather, don't respond. Like sex dolls. 
Oh no, like for revenge? Not exactly. More like a, how would you say it? A kink. Ooh. I find this very interesting. Chemis. Is it not interesting? It's weird. Sex is weird. Yes, I agree. Weird and interesting. It just seems so seedy. Sex work is work. I make people happy. I'm good at what I do. But does this android need to own you? Do you need to give up your personhood for them? That's what makes it real for my clients. If I didn't really give up my autonomy, it would just be a game. Maybe it would be okay if it was just a game? People are into role play, right? Aren't you putting yourself in danger by letting someone own you? I am, but I trust my clients. I have a question about the sex. I can't believe we're talking about this. How do you do sex? Well, they want a sex doll or something like a sex doll. So a lot of the time, I just lie there. Didn't Android sex dolls have more functions? Later models did, but the early ones just lay there. Sometimes they made noises. Fascinating. I'm not sure I can go through with this. Please, just leave me at the Vinculum Ascender. My owner will collect me from the spire. I don't know. Camus, I think maybe we should take Andy somewhere else. What do you think? I am not sure. Where could we take him? Midtown? At least he'd be safe there. Safe? With no money, no job, and no owner? Maybe it is better to leave him in Midtown. I don't think people should be able to stop being people and become things instead. Me neither. But it is what I want. Quiet, I need to think. I really don't know what decision to make. I mean, I want to respect Andy's choice, and they seem to be choosing to go back to their owner, but obviously Andy shouldn't be owned, but they want to be? But also, they're kind of pressured into being owned because they need it for the money, so... I don't know. In the absence of um, something that I'm sure is the better way forwards, I think I'll just go with what Andy wants. Uh, the yellow one. my choice I think you should reconsider here is your money goodbye I can't believe he is an object he seems so much like a person I'm not so sure can I ask another question about the sex absolutely not
Okay, where were we? Tico, you made it all the way to the ground. Yes, all for nothing. Nari is not here. I'm sorry. You know, maybe it's time to let her go. It is difficult, but this place... Nari would have liked it. When my visual sensors run in low resolution mode, it looks a little like the seaside town where we grew up. You grew up? Tico, was Nari like you? I don't know what you mean. An android. I'm sorry, there are some things I can't talk about. Nari was a woman like you. Oh, you don't understand what you are. She thought we were the same, so I did too. My father called me Prototype. I didn't look any different to the people around me. But you felt different. Yes, unless I was with Nari. When we were together, it felt like we were different from everyone else, but the same as each other. Tico, you know, if she was human, she's probably... Did you say you were together in a place called Tokyo? I don't know the name, but I think it's a very ancient place. You and Nari were together a long, long time ago. I am sure I will find her. Yes, I am sure. Do you think I am getting closer? Will I find her soon? Yes, I think you'll both be together soon. That's wonderful news. I can't wait to see her again. I'm so sad for them. That's such a depressing storyline. They don't understand anything that's happened or is happening. The only thing on their mind is just their lover from, what, thousands of years ago? Hundreds of years ago? Hey. Let's sell some stuff, actually. Damn, we have a lot of money. Mm. Wait, these are... These are equipped. We're using these. There was surplus for a second. Oh right, we still have the human hand. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, come back. Hope we find the owner soon. I'd like to stop carrying it around. Just four more punch cards. Let's park up here and get these items too. Not bad. Thanks for that. Y'all come back.
love the music. I've already turned it up a bit, but I'm going to turn it up even more. the infrastructure. This is a different place than the one we went to, right? Yeah, this is a completely different place. Same look to it, though. It's that place where we met Korra. 